Dead Rising Deluxe Remaster, or Dead Rising Deluxe Demaster, as some people are calling it. So recently, this uh, Dead Rising 1 Remake, Remaster, whatever the fuck you want to call it, another bloody remake coming out in modern times, which is not a surprise at all. Like, in my opinion, it really does seem to be a mixed bag. Like, it's not all bad, but then there's some really bad shit in there, mainly with, like, the characters and stuff. The censorship, uh, the voice acting are definitely the worst things in that game. Frank West absolutely butchered, you know, he was given the Capcom treatment. Terrible character with a receding hairline, dude. What the hell did they do to this guy? Seriously? Frank West? This ain't Frank West, dude. This looks like some crack-smoking fucking 50-year-old, dude. Fuck this guy. Other characters aren't that great either, with garbage, fucking soulless dialogue. I'm not gonna go into too much detail, but the voice acting is definitely quite a problem in this game. And also the, uh, and also the censorship, dude. The censorship is the fucking gayest shit in this game. It's unbelievable, man. So they got rid of that erotica shit, because apparently people are a bunch of fucking f that don't want to objectify women. Oh my god, this is sexist right here. Why the hell do they give in to these people, man? Seriously, have some balls, dude. Just release it with the Araka shit. Get the backlash from the small majority on Twitter that don't even play games and certainly not going to be playing this game. And just do the game justice, you know? Release it how it should be. Give people what they want. Don't cut out shit and censor shit because of the fucking work community, dude. Let those f cry what the fuck are they gonna do eh they can't do shit man they only have power if you give them power you could take pictures of uh of females tits and ass and you get pp bonuses erotica is so sexist oh my god shut up dude it's embarrassing okay so yeah um the game doesn't look that bad but the voice acting is terrible some characters have been fucked up censorship those are definitely the main issues there's definitely some problems with the game, but that's not what I want to talk about today, man. What I want to talk about is the hypocritical Capcom community, man. Specifically, people making videos on this shit, criticizing it, man. Now, the criticizing part isn't the problem. The problem is the hypocrisy, man. I'm not going to name any names, but there's been a few videos that I've watched on this Dead Rising remaster, right? People critiquing it and complaining about how it's soulless and how they've ruined characters and shit like that, right? And what do they say during the video? That they're a huge fan of Resident Evil remakes, dude. I don't get that. How can you love RE2, RE3, RE4 remake, whatever, but then complain about this? That is blatant hypocrisy right there. It makes absolutely no sense. Those games do exactly what these people complain about in Dead Rising. Ruining characters, right? Oh my god, Steven has horrible voice acting in Dead Rising Remaster. Frank's been ruined. He looks like a crack smoking meth head. Yet they love the remakes of Resident Evil so much. I don't get this hypocrisy, man. Shut the fuck up with that shit, dude. You can't complain about the shit, but then love those games like they're fucking masterpieces. It makes no sense. It's pure hypocrisy, dude. If you're going to complain about Dead Rising Remaster for these issues with the characters, then you have to complain about it in the Resident Evil Remix as well. Otherwise, your point is just completely invalid. I can't take you seriously, man. I'm guessing that one of the reasons is because of how toxic the Resident Evil community is. Dead Rising, the fans of that game, are a lot more judgmental. I mean, just look at Dead Rising 4, right? There's definitely a large portion of that community that's very critical towards Dead Rising. The Resident Evil community, however, is a completely different story. These are the biggest fucking ball suckers in the gaming community, man. A bunch of fucking sad, fucking pathetic losers that will suck Capcom's balls dry because they love everything that comes from this fucking IP, dude. They're a bunch of fucking f**ks, dude. Resident Evil community are the biggest fucking f**ks out there. It's fucking unbelievable, this goddamn community, dude. Even to this day, I've got these fucking f 
crying on my Resident Evil videos. Despite the videos coming out like two, three years ago. Move on, learn how to accept an opinion, and quit crying about videos that some random fucking guy online has made three years ago. Really though, it was fucking sad and pathetic back then. But the fact that those videos are so old, literally years old, and these fucking losers are still crying, that little f is absolutely embarrassing, man. I stick by it, okay? The Resident Evil community is the most toxic, sad, and pathetic community out there, man. A bunch of fucking losers, dude. But yeah, I don't get these uh, people complaining about this Dead Rising shit, man. If you're gonna complain about the shit in there, then why do you not complain about it in, in Resident Evil? Despite how fucking shit this game is, it's still a million times more fearful to Dead Rising 1 than any of those remakes are. It's just a fact. I'm not gonna sit here and be like, yeah, this is a perfect remake. But they sure as hell do a lot better than fucking Resident Evil, man. They pretty much did some censorship and fucked up the characters, that's about it. Everything else is, Res uh, is uh, Dead Rising. Whereas you have Resident Evil 2, 3 and 4, right? Which are unrecognizable, man. It's not just the characters that have been absolutely fucking destroyed. You know, little f ass fucking Leon made into a fucking loser, bitch boy, soy drinking fucking feminist fucking f But you've also got other characters that have been absolutely destroyed. There's not a single good character. You know, you've got like Luis from Ori 4 that's like okay at best. But other than that, the characters are a bunch of fucking train wrecks, okay? Horrendous characters, okay? Leon's a fucking f Ada sounds like a mess. Salazar is a wrinkly, disgusting fucking freak. All the other characters are god awful. Terrible fucking voice acting. Most of the face models fucking suck, like I said. Leon looks like a fucking f And, um, yeah, you know, horrible fucking characters. But also, a shitload of other fucked up things as well. Especially in RE2 Original, where it's completely different, dude. Different camera, different controls, cut content. There's so many problems with these games, right? Dead Rising Remaster. Do they change up the gameplay like they do in those games? Nope. Do they cut the soundtrack? Nope. At least I don't think they have. I haven't seen any playthroughs with it turned on because of like copyright, but I'm assuming it's all in there, right? All they did was, you know, do some censorship and ruin the characters, which is, don't get me wrong, that's unforgivable, dude. That's bad enough right there, and you should not buy this shit. Fuck that game, and fuck Capcom. But comparing it to Resident Evil, it's still a million times more fearful and accurate and more better of a remake than Resident Evil 2, 3, 4, combined okay the hypocrisy is fucking ridiculous so all these fucking people these youtubers making videos on this shit if you're gonna complain about it then don't suck resident evil's dick because then you look like a moron okay you look like a bloody hypocrite and then everything that you say you can't take seriously because you're sucking capcom's nuts dude but that's all i have to say okay just want to make a quick video calling out these fucking fake ass hypocritical Capcom fanboys, okay? And give my two cents on this game and what I think about it. So I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Take care and sayonara.